Okay, today we're going to be talking about 90% of the stuff you need to do with audio in iMovie. Um, there's always there's always something extra, there's always a couple of switches, but I'm going to show you 90% of it. Okay, first thing is the setup. Um, when I'm keywording or or you know looking for people, you know I might have my screen set up like this. But when I'm ready to actually edit, I will go ahead and change the screen uh, to something more like this, flip the timeline to the bottom, uh, switch it to a single row, turn on the audio. Um, so now I'm ready to I'm ready to edit. Uh, a few things. Let's look at the clip properties for audio or audio adjustments, I should say. Now you can you can manually adjust these up to five seconds, but that's it. Um, but if you come down here to the timeline, you'll see that there's a little handle at the five second mark, and you can act, you know you can you can bring your your fade fade in you know anywhere you want. But this is permanent um, to the clip. Um, you know, if we were doing like a regular audio adjustment where we grab the audio and, and then we'd pull down the levels, um, this relates to this chunk of video, whereas this relates to the clip, meaning if I, if I trim this, let's look, you'll see I'm trimming it right to the end of the transition, audio transition, um, it's, it's still there. Now my other edit that's still there, but um, but that that fade in is always going to remain on the clip, uh, no matter what. So that's just something to remember. Um, put that back the way it was. Okay. Uh, another thing is you can see you can you can stack up as many, or I don't know how many, but quite a few pieces of audio. I I, I haven't found the limit yet. Um, and you'll also see it adds the same, the same fade in, fade out handles. Um, and of course, you know you can, you can, you know, adjust the audio by grabbing, grabbing, you know, the I should say a top handle, um, or you could select a, a chunk of audio and and adjust that. Um, if you need to. Uh, you know, but drop in background music. You know, you know that if you drag drag it to this, you know, you see that green come up. <clears throat> that's your background music. And but if you need it to be at a certain point, like if I want to put it right here, you need to grab this like top title bar and just pull it over and, and line it up. And again, it's like this beginning um, you know fade in that or the clip properties if I adjust this clip again if I just take all this out and and trim it it that audio is going to stay linked to you know whatever point in the video I've marked and you can see those if we Go to range music track. You'll see what's pinned and not pinned. <clears throat> okay, what else do we need to do? Oh, I need to show you how to extract audio. Let's say you wanted to do a voiceover or grab a piece of audio or a time shift this. You can actually extract the audio and you'll and then shift, you know, the the, the video audio off of the video. So um, that might come in handy, or you know, you might want to export this out for something. I, who knows what you might want to do? But uh, but I think that covers just about everything in audio. If it hasn't, let me know, and I'll redo it. Thanks.